Greetings friends, David Marks here with a video tutorial for those of you who are just getting started with Adobe Lightroom. Before we get started, let me make it clear that there are two very different types of Lightroom on the market right now. This video is for those of you who want to use the cloud-based version of Adobe Lightroom, meaning the type of Lightroom where Adobe stores your images for you on their servers. If you're looking for advice on how to install the other type of Lightroom, the desktop storage focused program, whose full name is Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic, then this is not the video for you. This video is intended only for those who are new to the Adobe Lightroom cloud-based world and who are not moving up from one Lightroom product to another. With all those warnings out of the way, let me jump right over to my computer and let's get started. The installation process for Adobe Lightroom cloud-based begins online over at adobe.com. The best way to find the program that I'm talking about today is to click down here near the very bottom of their page where it says Creative Cloud, since Lightroom is part of Adobe's Creative Cloud family. Next, click on the Photography tab about here, and then on the first tile, the one that says Just Plain Old Lightroom. Don't be fooled here by the option that says Lightroom Classic. Next, you can either click on the Free Trial button or the Choose a Plan option here at the top. Since the free trial option is only good for a week, I'm gonna tap on the Buy Now button to choose a plan. At this point, US customers face the choice between starting with one terabyte of online storage for $9.99 US dollars, or starting out with only 20 gigabytes of storage, but with Adobe Photoshop also included. Now I can't tell you which choice you should make here, but I can tell you that I went with the Lightroom plus Adobe Photoshop option for two reasons. First, I picked this plan because I can always add additional cloud storage for $9.99 US per terabyte later if needed. Second, although Adobe Lightroom is wonderful, it has its limits. When you hit one of those limits, then it's time for Adobe Photoshop, which is still the world's most powerful image enhancement program. The choice that you make here, or your choice to start with a free trial version instead, does not change what happens next. Once you make your decision, you'll need to create an Adobe ID, that's an email address and a password, to complete your purchase or to start your free trial. I'm going to fast forward through the checkout process, but I urge you to write down the email address and password that you create in here for your Adobe ID. Please write this info down because you're going to need to enter your Adobe ID again and again as you install this software. And if you eventually also choose to install any of the Adobe Lightroom for mobile apps on your smartphone or tablets. At this point, your download should begin. Once the installer package has downloaded, find your new download and double click on it. In the Mac world, the installer package will be a .dmg file. PC folks, things are very similar for you, except that your download will probably be contained inside a .zip package. At this point, you might need to give your computer permission to install your new software. Now, you're going to need to sign in again with that Adobe ID. If all goes well, the program will launch itself. But just in case it doesn't, let me back out of here and let me show you how to start up Adobe Lightroom on your own. To start up Lightroom, by the way, once it's installed, you can delete this installer package if you want. To start up Lightroom, go to your computer's Applications folder, if you're on a Mac, or to your Programs folder on a PC. Find the one that says Adobe Lightroom CC, and in it, double-click on the app, the app on a Mac, or the exe file on a PC to start the program. At this point, some helpful tutorials from Adobe might pop up, and you might want to watch them. The logical step at this point would be to import some photographs into your image library. To do that, we would tap this button here. Now, I'm going to save how to do that and what we would do inside here for our next tutorial. But before I end this video, let me suggest one helpful trick. Since I suspect that you are going to use Lightroom a lot, I think it's worth pinning a shortcut to this program onto your computer's dock or quick launch bar. To do this, quit out of Lightroom or exit out of it if it's currently running. Next, go back to your Applications folder on a Mac or your Programs folder on a PC. 
find that folder, that Adobe Lightroom CC folder again, and inside it, find the .app on a Mac or the .exe on a PC. On a Mac, once you've found this, drag this icon down onto your dock. That's the area at the bottom of the screen. Put it somewhere about here and release, and you'll have pinned it down there. That will make it really easy to just tap on it to launch the program the next time you want it to run. PC folks, this is actually even easier for you. Once you find the EXE on a PC, all you have to do is right click and you'll have an option in here that says pin to taskbar. Now, I know that this is not the most exciting place to end this tutorial, but as long as your software installed successfully, then you're ready for lots more fun in our next video. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you learned something today, then please hit the subscribe button and leave us a like or a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next tutorial.